All right, guys, here we have the Crucial M4 solid state drive. This is the 256 megabyte version. And I'm going to be putting this in my computer. So it's a good computer, but it's still slow because hard drives, you know, of the past are slower. It's got a standard Western Digital 7200 RPM hard drive. So I'm going to try in this uh, solid state drive, and as you can see, it's a lot smaller than a normal hard drive. But it has two hookups, which you probably can't see very well through here. And one is for the power, one is for the SATA uh, cable, SATA cable, which is exactly like the regular hard drive. So all we're going to have to do is use a screwdriver to uh, install this hard drive into my computer, and then we'll install Windows, and then we have a working computer again. So we'll go ahead and test the speed difference between my old hard drive and my new hard drive. So I'll give you guys some side-by-side -side comparisons here, and then we'll go ahead and do a little review uh, at the end of this video about what I think about it and how it did. So let's go ahead and test this side by side with my old regular HDD. Okay, so now we're going to do the first test, which is a startup test. I just started both the monitors. On the left hand side of your screen is going to be, I don't know which way that is left when I'm pointing on the camera here, but on the left side of your screen is going to be the hard disk drive, and on the right side is going to be the SSD. They're running on the exact same computer. I just put in the uh, SSD today and I ran these tests before and after the install. So it's the exact same computer. It's got 8 gigabytes of RAM and a uh, 4 core uh, 3 gigahertz processor. So this is it starting up and I've added programs on. It's not just a completely fresh install. I've added on you know, my video editing. I've done all the Windows updates. I've added on a game that I'm going to show the loading time of. So I've, I've added on stuff. It's not just a completely fresh install. And I got to enter in my password, but I had to do this on both sides. I did it about in the equal speed. And as you can see now, <coughs> it's still spinning. Now it's done. And if I was to load something, it would already be ready to load. And Open Office here is a free Office program. It usually takes a lot longer than that to load. Programs on here run super fast. So the next test I'm going to do is um, I open up a PDF and I opened it on the uh, HDD, again on the left it'll show up, and then on the right the SDD. So let me go ahead and click them here. And like that, the SDD is done where the HDD was still loading. So as you can see, any file that you're opening off the hard drive is really fast. Let's go ahead and do some more tests here. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys two more things. I'm going to show you guys the loading difference in a game for loading up the maps. Uh, so once we get focus here, I'm going to just load up uh, the first map here on the same exact map on both uh, the old HDD and new SDD. So that was that load and now there's another load I'll show side by side here. So we can see the difference there. And then I'm going to get out of uh, here. And last thing I'm going to load up is my editing software, which uh, my editing software I upgraded. When I bought this new hard drive, I got a Movie Edit Pro 17. On my HDD, I had Movie Edit Pro 16. They seem to start up about the same way, so we'll go ahead and start them side by side. Even though they're different programs, uh, they're the same program, just a different version, one year different. So they're very, very similar. So here's the startup of them. So overall, I'd say this SDD makes a big difference. Startup and shutdown times are great. Starting up applications, you can get into the, this used to take a lot longer to get into. You want to start up five uh, Internet Explorers, all five are done. Check that out. I didn't have to wait for the load here. I'll do 15 of them. Okay, it's going. It's getting there. Did 15 really quick this time, and they're all done. Not a single one is waiting to load. That's not only because of internet speed, but because um, 
the hard drive is able to keep up with it. So that's pretty amazing. And uh, really liked it. Uh, we'll see how long it lasts. Some people say that STDs don't last that long. But that was when they first came out, like in 2009. They've improved a lot from them. So uh, I back up everything anyways. But for speed, it's great. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.